Today, I am going to be doing a tier list ranking of every boss battle that Prodigy has given us so far by the end of 2023. This ranking is going off of all of the boss battles displayed in this video right here, which is linked in the description if you want to go see the boss battles for yourself. And just remember that all of this is my opinion. If you want to let me know your opinion on each of these boss battles, you can do so in the comments. These are all going to be ranked based off of how fun they are, how exciting, and how much there is, and sort of their difficulty level. So that is going to, those are going to be the main criteria we are using for this. It's not going to be very, uh, it's not going to be too judgmental. But I am going to share all of my opinions on every boss battle in Prodigy so far. So let's go ahead and get into these rankings. So let's start off with old Gerald here. Gerald, I'm going to put in A tier. And that is mainly because of the newest update that has been applied to his boss battle. The one that includes a talk sprite for Gerald and new rewards for the battle. It's a fairly simple battle, um, pretty easy at this at the point you are in in Prodigy, but I'm going to put it into A tier mainly because of the recent upgrades it got this year. The Ice Worm, this is going to be both battles and it is going in B tier because it's 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 just a generic battle. It's again fairly simple. At this point in Prodigy, you are not very high up, so this is going to go in B tier as just one of those, I mean, one of the area bosses. The same thing is actually going to be said with Chabellini. It is going in B tier because of its genericness. I like the boss. I like all of these bosses, I'm just going to go ahead and say that. I like the boss, I just don't like, well... It's just not as good as some of the ones coming up later up on this list. B tier is a fine tier. Same thing is going for the old one. It is going in B tier as well, mainly for the same reasons as the other three. It gets harder. It's getting harder at this point because just it's getting harder because you're going farther into Prodigy, but it's still in the B tier. Um, Frosty Storm, I believe or Ice Storm Boss, whatever it's called, I don't remember at the moment. C tier, it's very simple, easy to defeat, not even the final boss of Skywatch, so it is going in the lowest tier that we have here today. Sorry, that was actually the Rain Cloud Boss, but um, next is the Storm Cloud Boss. Or it's the plant one, I can't remember, they changed the names recently. It's going in C tier as well. All three of them are actually going to go in C tier. The uh, rain, storm, slash sand, or whatever it is. And the ice one, ice cloud boss. I think that's the current name for it. It's going to go in C tier as well. They're all just generic, they are not the main uh antagonists of skywatch they're just the mini boss battles that you go through as part of the quests unless they get updated later on this year now here we have the cloud boss itself of skywatch i'm going to put it in the same tier as the other bosses the other uh elemental most of the other elemental bosses it's just the same kind of but of course more difficult more challenging i like the boss still it is going to go in the b tier along with the rest of them okay so next tier we have grandoff the boss at floor 50 of the dark tower this is going in c tier it is literally one of the easiest things that you could face especially at a high level climbing the dark tower it is a super easy boss with, especially with astral spells, strong astral spells, it is very easily able to be defeated. Mira Shade, the boss at 4, 100. It's going in B tier, mainly because the uh, difficulty was put down a lot with the battle update. It is quite an easy boss, Mira Shade. 
She is quite easy to defeat now, you just need good astral spells and to be at quite a high level. And you're basically all set to defeat uh, Mira Shade very easily. So here we have the bosses from Crystal Caverns. All five of the main uh, bosses that you face going along there. I'm going to start off with the Grumpy Yeti. Even though I do like the boss battles of Crystal Caverns quite a bit more, I'm going to be putting the Grumpy Yeti still in B tier. It is the simplest of the boss battles, I think, and, well, maybe not the simplest, but it is actually quite a cool boss battle. You have this unique uh, design and skill set for uh, the Grumpy Yeti, aka Aspen Frost. Uh, it is still quite an easy boss to defeat, so it's going in B tier. Winston Von Loot, I'm going to put in A tier. It, uh, Winston is quite a hard boss to defeat. Um, you have the two batter bots that you have to defeat as well that are high on health, and so is Winston Von Loot himself. So that is, I mean, it's quite a hard boss battle. I really like it, and it is going in the A tier. Glacius. That is going in B tier. It is a simple, pretty simple boss battle. Not too difficult. You just need good spells and you can really easily defeat it. So it is going in the B tier. It's also a boss you can skip in Crystal Caverns. So yeah, that kind of puts a downside on it. Makalu, I love this one. A tier immediately. The design is really good. The animations are very smooth, and I just love trying to figure out each time where it went, because that is a great idea that the uh, people of Prodigy decided to add into it. Uh, so I really like this boss battle, A tier for sure. The Crystal Golem, also a definite A tier. This one is just great i love all of the elemental forms and i just love seeing it switch trying to figure out which one it might switch to next i love it it's a great boss battle it's very difficult and i just really like this one a lot so this one is also going in the a tier so now we start off with the uh we go to the academy boss battles from the Puppet Master update. This is why I'm putting Pippet in here because current, oh well, before that, the status was not a boss battle, but the boss battle against Pippet is going in B tier. That, uh, while I do like the addition of member Mimic along with Mimic as his uh, team, but I, it's still pretty easy. I'm not going to put it any higher than the B tier. Same with Shadow Gerald. It's quite an easy boss battle now. With, uh, I mean, you just need the, you just need good spells. And Flora helps you out and takes away some of his hearts. So it's harder than Gerald, but I'm still putting it in the B tier. Uh, Shadow Ice Worm. I love the shield aspect of it. A tier. Um, I really like the design. It's the same exact design as Makalu, but I still really like it. I love the shield that goes around it. That makes it quite difficult to defeat. And I really like this one a whole lot. Shadow Chabellini, A tier as well. I love the design. It's I think it's better than Chabellini's original design. I really like uh, well, it's just hard to defeat. It's got a lot of health. I like how uh, Slurpee gives you, well, heals you up. So that's a great aspect. I like this one a lot. And Shadow Old One is also going in A tier. I like how Eve gives you the all out attack. The Shadow Old One has a really cool design. And I think this one belongs in the A tier as well. It's also. Well, it might be, it's easier than Shadow Chabellini, but I still really like it. Here we have the final three. Um, we're going to be starting off with Shadow Nasty Cloud, the final boss before the Puppet Master final battle. 
this one is going to be our first S tier rank. Shadow Nasty Cloud is, it's an amazing boss battle. Like, it's super difficult. You have to go through like six turns, I believe, before you can do any real damage on it. So like, it's very hard to defeat. And I really like that about it. The shields are back. And this one, it's just S tier. And the Puppet Master, no shot. Definitely S tier, 100% best battle in all of Prodigy. I love everything about this battle. Prodigy did very well when they were designing it this year. And I really love the choices that they made. Everything is great about it. I have praised this boss battle a lot, but I still do believe it is the best one that Prodigy has given us so far, and I love it. Puppet Master rules. So finally, Hollow Jack. This is the boss for Pumpkin Fest. It's going in A tier. I love the design. I like the idea behind it. It's just a little bit too easy to defeat. You don't really get anything from it. It's Pumpkin Fest exclusive. So basically it's going in B tier for the A tier, sorry, for those reasons, but it's a really solid boss battle. So here we are. This is my final ranking of every boss battle that Prodigy has given us so far by the end of 2023. Hopefully we will have more coming in 2024. I cannot wait to see Prodigy's story progress next year assuming that they do make progress on it next year i cannot wait to see what they do with it uh, very soon remember that all of these boss battles are based from this video that is linked in the description every boss battle in prodigy as of october 2023 and don't forget again this is all in my opinion I would love to hear your opinion on every boss battle in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you are listening right now, I hope you have an amazing Christmas or whatever else you may be celebrating. So just have a great time, enjoy the holidays, and I will see you in the next video.